Yeah, you guys are um, not only music makers, but you're also uh, involved politically and in some movements um, of freedom. Uh, maybe you want to speak on that, maybe? Um, yeah, um, I suppose like um, indigenous um, Maori people, we've, we've, um, uh, we've been dealing with um, the British Crown on um, you know, a lot of different issues to, um, to do with the, uh, what we call um, Te Tiriti of Waitangi, which was an uh, agreement that we signed with, um, you know, with Britain. And um, so, you know, there's um, things that need to be um, corrected over there. And it's, um, sometimes it's not about, you know, the money and compensation or um, things like that. But some of us feel strong about um, um, independence and um, what we call um, Tino Ranga Tiratanga which is, um, um, you know, Māori sovereignty um, with um, being able to um, be in the forefront of, um, you know, the way, the way we see um, how each and every one of us can, can live in harmony and, and, and live together. Um, because obviously, well, some tell us it's a multicultural um, country, but, um, you know, we need to sort those issues out between you know, ourselves and the Crown, um, and then, um, you know, acknowledge the, um, you know, the rest of the nations that um, have come to our beautiful country. And, um, and um, you know, I'm sure uh, once we get to that point that, um, which, which is all a part pro of prophecy um, too, was that, um, you know, we will be able to live together as one and, um, you know, be acknowledged um, to be able to do um, you know, a lot of the things that we need to do, which is look after our elders and look after our children and look after our country and be an example for, you know, the rest of the nation to, um, you know, follow suit and, and live together in harmony, peace, love and harmony. That's right. I think you guys do a great job of uh, using your, your musical talents to spread that message, not just in New Zealand, but across the world. And I think it uh, raises consciousness and motivates other people as well. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Any uh, questions from our press? Greetings. Greetings. Give thanks for your presence. Thank you. Your, thank you. your word, sound power. You're representing two generations of thought and music. And that's very special for such an event as Reggae on the River. This is a 32nd annual event here, so there are many children that have grown up and become producers of this show. So uh, I really appreciate, you don't see this so often, to have family vibes on stage such as this. But we are on a conquered land, and you two come from a conquered land. So you're telling me that you're touring on the reservations in town, in this country. Last time, people from your area came through. They were talking about Papua New Guinea. And I would like to know, please, what's happening now? It's been a year since we've heard. About, mm, yes, the, it's a conquering movement, yes? This is music of the people. And I look to you as artists and keepers of the knowledge and the, and the information to get out towards it. So I just want to ask you, please, if you can give me updates of what's going on from your part of the world. In Aotearoa, New Zealand? Yes, please. Yeah. Pretty much said it, eh? Mm. Is that about the neighboring um, islands? Are, are you um, reasoning about, or...? Uh, or about what the update is in Papua New Guinea? I'm wanting to know, because I look to you as ambassadors from your country, how you can share the information to us in this country about what's happening and what needs to happen from your article point of view. Um, well, um, I was sort of hoping that I might have been able to bring that understanding in my last statement, but, um, you know, first of all, we have to... Uh, we have to deal with our um, situation as far as the British Crown is concerned and Māoridom is concerned 
because um, um, things are creeping up on us all so fast that um, you know uh, sometimes I I sort of, you know in my prayer I ask if we are next you know but um, I know deep down in my heart if, if, if anybody tried to do that stuff that that's happened to our neighbours that um, they, Papua. they definitely wouldn't get away with it not in Aotearoa anyway because yeah. um, you know that means that we'd have to stand and fight for our you know, grandmothers and our grandfathers and our fathers and mothers and our children and our grandchildren. So um, it's not a, you know, it's obviously not like that for us, um, but it could be. So, um, you know, my my inspiration, uh, my, um, you know, encouragement to our elders is to, um, you know, look inside ourselves and, and, um, and find the way that we can deal with each other and then be an example for, you know, um, you know, whoever is taking note of, of what's going on and, and um, you know, deal with things in the right, in the right manner, you know, use all our energy on dealing with, um, you know, the things that happen around us that we don't realise that are happening. And um, you know it's good for you know me and the two boys to to be out here to you know to find out you know share from um, First Nation people, um, our Hawaiian whānau, you know the um, whoever that shares about these issues with Same us, struggles, and, you know, so that we can sort of understand what's happening in America too. I just wanted to clarify something. Um, in the reggae on the river pamphlet, it said that we we're from West Papua, but we're not from West Papua. We're from Aotearoa, but we um we like to rep we like to um we always like to share our concerns with the people there and you know, and um anything we try and help for, we we'll always try and help them because it's some sad stuff that's going on down in West Papua. So all our love to the people down there and all our family down there. And, yeah, and we have representatives. Um, Māori representatives there, yeah. um, keeping an eye on things, you know, obviously they can't change the way their military is dealing with things because they do it, you know, around the back at night and stuff like that, but, you know, we're keeping a good eye on them. Thank you. Hello, this is Pedro from KPFA, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask you because I was checking out the show and, you know, I see uh, yourself right here transitioning from keyboards to guitar to singing to like, you know, basically you're doing like three three people's, you know, music, right? So tell us a little bit about that. And then as well as like, how do you know tra how to transition in the moment? Because uh, it must have taken a long time to get there. And now you seem like to perfect that as well. Oh, cool, man. Um, I was just like to... There's this man here that made everything happen for me, you know, and um, I remember when I was four years old, he brought me a keyboard, you know, he brought me my first keyboard, and um, <clears throat> from there, I put the keyboard down, I started playing drums, and, um, and you know, all my brothers play in all the instruments, so we're all pretty musical, and um, I give thanks for that because it's, you know, um, we haven't had any lessons, haven't had any music lessons, and but I see how we learned it, how we learned to play on our own, because I could see it on my children now. So my son's playing drums, and you know, and um, he's only six years old, blowing up on the internet, and so um, yeah, I guess it's just something that's just given to us to, and it's hard because we all love playing everything, you know. As I was a wicked drummer, and we all want to play drums, but yeah, yeah, we all we love all instruments and love producing and. And when we produce and write our songs together, you know, we'll come up with the music and Dad will come in and tell us, nah, change that, change this, change that. So it's a, it's a blessing, yeah. And on stage, I guess, um, yeah, it's sort, of, sort of get fidgety when I go on, jump on the bass and jump on the guitar, but yeah, try and change around just to help each other out and get out the front and sing. And, yeah, thank you, brother. How's it going, guys? Bert here from Polynesian Underground. Hey, Great show up there. 
Thank you so much. You, you talk about, you know, we witnessed an amazing musical family, Pops, many years, over 35 years of music. What does reggae music mean to, to the family, to House Hashem? Um, well, um, I was a musician. Um, like, you know, my, my father and mother and my grandmother and my grandfathers and, and that they were, um, you know, from, from our traditional kapahaka, um, you know, um, to, you know, traditional waiata um, and through rock and roll. And, you know, of course, I was, I was in the same situation as the, as the boys. I, you know, I always went to, you know, dad's um, rehearsal and, you know, because the uncle's mum and all her brothers and sisters were all singers too, so I was always, you know, um, following the instruments around and, you know, having my turn while they had a break. But um, it's like, um, you know, it's just a part of of um, how we brought up. Um, I just wanted to clarify on what the bro was um, talking about about how do we how do we do it, and um, um, I think even before any any type of um, um, you know, inspirations and that they come along. It's it, it's just something like you know when I look at Shem and you know see what he's doing. I, it you know reminds me of when I was his age because I'd done exactly the same thing. Jumped on the drum kit and started playing, and and then you know all of a sudden um, you know the reality of society and um, cultural um, you know trying to understand why this white skin boy even though my father was dark you know they, they from look like he's from Africa but um, trying to understand you know the feeling that was happening inside me and and then I, I sort of realized that hey you know we're born to do this you know we've we've um, because we can hear it we can feel it and um, you know I'm just so thankful that um, that myself and our wider Fano, our family, have that ability to to do that without having to go to school or or anything like that. So, because you know, there's um, some people have that and some have to learn, and and you know, we we're just grateful that we got what we got. Uh, reggae and music, uh, reggae music. Growing up on reggae music, you know, he's been playing reggae music since the mid '70s, you know, and um. I've got all the old demos, got all the old videos, and just to see what reggae music means to our family, that's so you know, it's pretty deep. And I don't know if you want to share something on the reggae. Yeah, well, like reggae. you know, I think to our nation, um, um, you know, as time sort of went on, because we, you know, we come from a um, um, a certain part of Mauritania that um, I, I suppose, in some ways, been hidden uh, for a reason. Um, and um, it's called Morehu Tanga, and um, and that's a really long story to share. But um, you know, in time to come, the you know the nations will will um, hear the calling, will feel the calling, because um, it's you know about to take place. But um, so there's you know different understandings to our culture and and, and stuff like that. And Morehu Tanga is all about music, love. You know um, the gathering of the nations um, to um, because our prophet told us that we were of the children of Israel. So um, and there was a reason for our migration down there. So. Well, as a fellow Pacific Islander, it's always great to see other Pacific Islanders doing amazing work up there and sharing great music. What are your thoughts on Pacific Island reggae music? We all know the roots of reggae music. But what are your thoughts on Pacific Island reggae music and Pacific Islanders doing their thing in, in the reggae music business today? Um, well, um, you know, there's um, there's prophecies that were spoken, you know, back in back in the day. Um, uh, you know, this is always going to be a long, um, you know, uh, time to explain. But um, I suppose basically. Um, you know, there was migrations that were made through the South Pacific from Africa, uh, from out of Egypt, and um, you know, of course, all of all of the inspiration that comes from our um, genealogy, which we call Whakapapa, is um, all got to do with 
um, you know, us um, Polynesians um, being, you know, a good example for the rest of the world because it was spoken that um, the world, world would be in turmoil and, you know, corruption and um, so much hatred and um, greed that, um, you know, there needs to be a blessing upon all the nations. So um, from what we understand in that prophecy is that we're all a part of it. So, um, you know, it makes my heart um, joyful when, you know, I see Fiji standing up and, um, you know, singing um, to the nations at a football game and, um, you know, watching to kneel and, um, you know, rebel soldiers and, you know, and, um, you know, many of those um, ohana and that, and it's, um, you know, a good feeling to, you know, because it, it just, you know, gives me the, the understanding that, um, that things are moving the way that it was meant to be, so. Maybe let the people know that, you know, you're, you're the start of, um, part of the starting of Pacific Reggae Music through Herbs, you know? Founding member of Herbs. Greetings. Yeah. <laughs> Roots Master WWOZ, 90.7 FM, New Orleans, Louisiana. Greetings. Welcome to California, to Humboldt County and Reggae on the River. Uh, curious to know, House of Shem, please explain House of Shem. The name? Yes. Um, well, I just mentioned um, a little while back that um, we're from a, um, a part of Māori that's um, known as Morehu. Um, we had a prophet, Tahu Putiki Uru Muratana Māngai, um, who was um, given the work to um, teach his people um, about the spirituality of um, what was going to be good for us as a nation. Um, so when um, when it come, you know, with me and the two boys to um, you know to find a uh, name for the music that we'd just written because we didn't realise that it was going to be a band or anything, but um, I, I was actually retiring and and um, I had actually the five of my sons playing together and um, all this music started coming coming out and um, you know um, of course that was um, you know we needed to find a platform to um, launch from um, with not including our maramatanga because of the spiritual aspect of it and you know we didn't want to be um, there was a last world tour that was prophesized that was best left to what it was but for us we had to find um, you know some kind of um, name to use in that so um, of course in our teachings um, and what the prophet said was that, um, that that we are the likeness of the children of Israel mm -hmm. so um, basically um, I mentioned to the boys that um, you know, I thought our, our genealogy, our whakapapa, back through 12 tribes and back through um, um, the prophecies that were spoken that, um, mm -hmm. um, that Enoch and uh, Noah mm -hmm. and a, a lot of the other brethren on the, on the holy mountain. And of course, um, a lot of them were straight away to going down to the bottom of the mountain would say they never, could never ever return. So one of the brethren mentioned um, that there will be a great flood and there will be someone that will, you know, deal with that whole um, prophecy that was about to unfold. And um, so Noah um, spoke up and asked, who shall that be? And um, it was told to him that it will be you and um, you will have a son and his name will be Shem and he will be responsible for preparing the bones out of the cave of treasures into the waka, into the ark and he will also be responsible for grabbing them and burying them in the earth once the water subsided mm. so um, Shem being the one that was in tune to 
you know, the Wairua Tapu and in tune to Noah and his communications with with Jah that yeah. um, you know that that would be um, the mission of Shem, who was blessed yeah. with the spiritual likeness of himself. So the boys agreed to it, and um, you know some said, "Well, hey, that's not a very good <laughs> reggae band name," and you know. But um, I encourage the boys that this would be an example for some that might feel the music sí. um, and understand what yeah. we were about to start searching. 